Welcome back to Black Star Dove. <clears throat> Welcome back to my channel. Uh, as always, I need that HBO special, which simply means help a brother out. Trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. Go ahead and click the like button. Click the subscribe button and share. I would most definitely appreciate it. Um, taking a little bit of a break from the political season because uh, we really haven't, there's really not much going on right now outside the fact of you know, Joe Biden stepped down, Kamala Harris stepped up. We're going to cover all that. There was a bombshell just dropped. Not really just dropped. I knew of it last week because <clears throat> I've been following the story about Robert Downey Jr. coming back into the MCU. So I absolutely loved it because uh, we, have, we have heard stories for a few months about Chris Evans and Robert Downey Jr. returning. This is a spoiler for Wolverine. I mean, Deadpool and Wolverine, if you haven't seen it already. But I'm pretty sure if you haven't seen it, you at least heard of it. Chris Evans returns. But he doesn't return as Captain America. He returns as Johnny Storm, which was his original character that he played in. Um, as part of the Fantastic Four. So, <laughs> that was absolutely amazing. I love every, every last part of it. But Robert Downey Jr. coming back as Dr. Doom. Or a version of Dr. Doom. Because he's not Victor Von Doom. Um, what are my thoughts on that? I like it. There have been um, a few series where he has... Where Tony Stark has morphed into Dr. Doom. Uh, of course, there's like alternate series and stuff like that. Uh, but it also makes sense for the MCU. Like... You know, people forget, like, oh, how can this happen? How can this happen? There are very different steps that we can see that this happened from. A, Tony was first a warlord before he became Iron Man. So this could be what happened if that Tony would have stayed a warlord. B, um, when Tony was obsessed with getting a suit of armor around the whole world, what would have happened if his obsession would have went through? So that's another one. Um... And then another version can be like he just snapped after he lost everyone from the snap. Like instead of going with Pepper Potts and having his family, he could have had a mental breakdown. And then he could have just like became doomed in. There's so many different ways that you can play it. I absolutely love it. Um, it's, great, it's great to have Robert Downey Jr. back. I'm pretty sure they paid him a boatload of money. Because <laughs> that dude was getting some serious coin from Marvel. Um, but now he's back. I'm pretty sure money wasn't the issue, but they're paying him a pretty good, a pretty good sum. Um, I still wish Jonathan Majors would come back. I liked him as Kang. Like, people didn't understand the whole Council of Kangs at the end of Ant-Man and Quantumania. That was straight out the comic book. Um, like, I really do think that they should come back and do that character justice. Technically, at the end of Loki season two, they found a way to get up out of him. But you can't do one of your, this is one of your premier villains. You can't do him like that. Have Jonathan Majors come back. Like even if like, I'm thinking like at the beginning of Doomsday, Kang and Dr. Doom can have a little fight and Dr. Doom can kill Kang. And then Dr. Doom takes over. Like, excuse me, there's so many ways that you can do it. Bring Jonathan Majors back. He doesn't have to have a major role anymore. Um, he was in, what, three Marvel projects? And for the most part, they were all pretty good. Um, Loki was amazing, season one. Ant-Man and Quantumania, the only bad thing was the ending. But that was the second ending. If you know the original ending, he won. But why they switched endings, don't know. Um, Loki season two was absolutely amazing. Um, for his acting was brilliant, especially as Victor Timely. Um, I just I don't know, like I believe he, he deserves another shot, especially with everyone so like up in arms and like happy again, and how he went from from Kang Dynasty to Doomsday. <laughs> so I'm like, man, it's just like I'm happy Robert Junior Junior's back. Um, I think he'll be a great Doctor Doom. He gets to type, really tap into that evil side of Tony Stark. Because don't forget, like, Tony Stark is not, like, you know, 
the billionaire playboy philanthropist all that stuff that he claims to be he also has a really dark side um but i really do wish that they would bring jonathan majors back that would put the icing on the cake for me especially as a fan and then because you could do do it in secret wars like bring back king the conqueror and, and that's jonathan majors i know people say oh just place him with john boyega yes they do look alike i, I can't lie <laughs> they do look alike <laughs> But you can't just place replace somebody like Jonathan Majors is a phenomenal actor. Um, he was guilty. There should have been a double conviction because they were both guilty. Like, let's just call it what it is of domestic abuse towards each other. So they, they both should be equally as guilty. But I think I really do think Jonathan Majors should be back. And then you pair him like Kang and Dr. Doom. Man. That would be like a next level threat. Because then you got the Fantastic Four and they're dealing with Galactus. You already know they're not going to defeat Galactus. So Galactus is coming somewhere down the line. And his Avenger movie will probably be like five years from now. But so you still got Galactus coming. And I think after Galactus, they really do need to do a reboot. I was thinking that they would do a reboot with Secret War. But the way it's going, and especially with the Fantastic Four dealing with Galactus. They have to do a reboot after Galactus. Like, that's it. Reboot the whole entire thing. Um, but I know some people online don't really get it. They think it's like lazy booking and all that stuff. It's not. It goes instead It goes instead with everything that they have been doing. People really haven't been feeling the cane, let's be honest, outside of the Loki series. But then people do have some type of issue with Jonathan Majors. It's, it's a whole lot of nonsense for really. But if, if we can just accept it for what it is, it will be simply amazing. Let's get Robert Downey Jr. as Kang. Um, not as, sorry, as, as Dr. Doom. Um, Jonathan Majors as Kang. And I wanted to bring Chris, but Chris Evans already has two characters in the MCU. So he was Johnny Storm, he was Captain America. I was trying to think of bringing him back or something, but then I really wouldn't do anything. Like maybe he could be like a version of Red Skull from an alternate timeline, but that may seem a little bit too cheesy. Give me a moment to think on the Christopher Evans ones. Um, sorry, on the Chris Evans one. But other than that, those are my thoughts. Take care. I love you. Peace.